How y'all doing at the Bronx VA? I love you guys, man. How you doing, man, at the Manhattan VA? We're going to call the session into It's official beginning, right? Yeah. My mother used to use <laughs> She said this, somebody usually comes running. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to be stingy. I'm going to go ahead and help you all out, okay? Here, 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 here. Have a little sip. Red wine is good for you. It's good for the cholesterol. How you doing? Happy birthday to Philip Dreis. I know you guys at the VA were very happy that I've been gardening. I make some super hot sauce. And I write super books. Just take a look at all the court pleadings. Numerous index numbers. But the reason why I'm here is because someone is concerned at the VA. Good. I love that guy. He's concerned that the book cover may be misinterpreted by the Secret Service or the FBI. Like, I want to do something to somebody. Hell no. If anything's been done to anybody, it was done to me. I helped out an old lady that was robbed out of $20,000. I helped advocate for her. And I was punished for it. Five years in courts. I mean, the, from the day my mother died, they came for me. And there was no way I was going to succeed in an apartment I was supposed to grandfather into that we've been there since the 1970s, and I was paying $135 a month rent for a $1,200 apartment with free gas. <laughs> On the 11th floor, two blocks away from the Jamaica bus terminal and the ENF line. J. Trey, come on. I didn't do anything to anybody. In 2004, I helped out the old lady. My mother died in 2005, and Mayor Bloomberg gets his human resources commissioner to send a psychiatrist to my house to pull off a clandestine psychiatric evaluation. So you know she had a party. She had a party. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you come to my house unannounced and you catch me with a glass of wine, you won't call me an alcoholic. Yeah, well, it was a 40. <laughs> Old gold, too. I don't mean anybody any harm. I'm trying to rescue America from a massacre that I survived. Mayor Bloomberg's political appointee that ushered in Bloomberg's remaining family member revisions that turned a federal policy that had different kind of rules in a municipality civil court. Well, what, what's that about? Okay, I don't want to make it too complicated, everybody. Mayor Bloomberg ushered in a policy to where it began to do ethnic cleansing, specifically picking poor black folk in public housing to put them out if you've been there too long. If you're on welfare, HRA won't pay your rent on time, so NYCHA can now take you to court in a hold of a fatigue to put you out. And they're going to get that apartment once they file it. doesn't go back. Can't be retracted. Won't be dismissed. Especially not by Judge Maria Rezos in civil court.
room 401. That's how he got me. That's how he got me. Right. So, here I am. Nice guy. Wonderful guy. Very humane. Look, I just got punished. And I think I might have lost my friend, because he got a little hangout buddy. And the little guy called me and cursed me the hell out. After I just saved this behind from losing a case. Against New York City sanitation that destroyed the boy's car. Young man. Scott. He gave me everything on Monday night. I stayed up till 1 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, his stuff was ready. And I called him at 1 o'clock. He was nowhere to be found. And at 6 o'clock, he calls me, curses me the hell out. You know, you're fired. You're fired. That's all. So everybody else who wants to jump on his bandwagon of being wrong is not going to say, Josh, you're too harsh. I don't have kids. I don't tolerate disrespect. And that's where we're at with Mayor Michael R. Blomberg. He sent me his regards. And at the eviction of August, I mean, uh, June 27, 2010, 10 years later, June 26, 2020, I'm slapping the book. I'm slapping the book down his butt on his desk. A registered return receipt restricted delivery by the United States Postal Service. They're going to get to him. Put it in his hand. He already saw the picture because it's part of court moving papers from 10 years ago. Everybody think I'm stupid milking this, 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 this picture and this thing. No. Right now, all the black elected officials that covered up for him so Mayor Bloomberg wouldn't come after them for their crookedness like Congressman Gregory Yameeks are the allegations. Everybody's busted. And rightfully so. I'll now have what is called a commodity. A product. I don't give a dead on about some dog dead going push a, a, a hot sauce cart. I can just... Walk with my hot sauce and stuff. It's no big deal. All right. Now, I spent five years in court, four years to the day in homelessness, and ten years to the day, he gets my reply. Cheers. Happy birthday. Oh. That bell's been silenced. My mother can't ring it. The servants come running no more. We're in America. We're, we're turned, we've been turned into freaking servants. <laughs> wow. How you doing? I created that concept of the cover for this book because it's redlining. Mayor Bloomberg politically lynched me and about a hundred thousand people Mayor Bloomberg made about made a small American town disappear vanish out of a population of about eight hundred and some thousand eight hundred and some thousand people living in them five hundred thousand some apartments all over New York City and his exodus of minorities out of New York City public housing and all, and, and all these districts subtracted a congressional district out of New York. But basically, I'm a slave that had a, a leash around my neck. When my shackles came off, I took it off, I took the Haitian flag, I pumped it up with all his crimes, hung it on the leash that he had on me, and I bestowed it on him around his neck. Isn't that nice? I'm a great guy.